This is Christina Fiore of MedPage Today reporting from the liver meeting in Boston. Vitamin E may help resolve NASH in pediatric patients, but it won't lower ALT levels any better than placebo. These findings were reported here by Dr. Joel Levine of Columbia University in New York. For the primary outcome, uh, neither metformin nor vitamin E met the predetermined uh, um, endpoints, which was sustained reduction in serum ALT over weeks 48 to 96 weeks of treatment. However, for some secondary histologic outcomes, uh, there was an improvement in ballooning with both metformin or vitamin E compared to placebo. And for other histologic parameters, such as improvement in a NAFLD activity score or resolution of NASH among people who had NASH, uh, there was significant differences between those on uh, vitamin E compared to placebo. However, this was not found for metformin. All of the groups received standard care, which involves lifestyle education, which may have explained the across-the-board decrease in ALT. Well, all three groups were provided a standard of care lifestyle advice uh, related to changes in diet and activity. Uh, perhaps some uh, of the um, children and their parents weren't aware of um, many of the things that compose a healthy lifestyle and with the regular reinforcement by being in the clinical trial, perhaps adherence was better. The findings were similar to that of an adult study published in the New England Journal of Medicine earlier this year. Well, in the Pivens trial, uh, what that showed was that vitamin E was effective in reducing, uh, well, in, in resolution of NASH. Uh, compared to placebo and also resolution of ballooning steatosis and inflammation uh, relative to placebo on uh, histologic analysis, which was the primary outcome for uh, that study. So the bottom line, for children with biopsy-confirmed NASH, vitamin E may be a useful adjunct to dietary and lifestyle changes. At the Liver Meeting in Boston, I'm Christina Fiore, MedPage Today.